What's going on everyone? Ethan Nader here with Horizon Hobby, and if you haven't heard, SLT Protocol has now come to the current lineup of Spectrum Computer Surface Transmitters with the new Legendary Update. And this is very exciting because it grants the current lineup of Spectrum Surface Computer Transmitters, so the DX5 Pro, DX6C, the DX6 Rugged, and you guessed it, the IXSR Surface Transmitter. The ability to bind up to SLT receivers that are found in very popular, ready-to-run vehicles from your favorite favorite brands at Horizon Hobby. These popular vehicles include the current line of Axial SCX24 rock crawlers, low-C NASCAR 112 scale vehicles, Arma 223S vehicles, and the original 118 scale Arma Groms. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to bind up your newly updated Spectrum Computer Surface Transmitter to an SLT receiver, much like the one that is on the Arma Granite Grom right here. And once you do that, you really no longer have to use the SLT transmitter. Again, this is a great transmitter for a ready to run vehicle of this size, but if you already have a Spectrum Computer Transmitter like the ones that you see here and you wanna utilize them with this firmware update, you can easily do so. Now depending on the Spectrum computer surface transmitter that you have, the update process might be a little bit different. However, the update process for the DX6C and the DX6 Rugged are identical in the sense that they are both done through the USB-C ports that's found on both of these Spectrum computer transmitters. So with that being said, I'm going to be showing you the two ways in which you can update the firmware on the DX6C and the DX6 Rugged. All right, so going over a couple things that you need in order to successfully update your Spectrum DX6C or DX6 Rugged. So the first thing that you need is a Windows computer that has the latest version of the Spectrum Programmer app installed to it. And then the other thing that you need is a USB port to a USB-C port. This allows you to connect your DX6C or DX6 Rugged up to your computer and install the update to it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start with the first method on the DX6C. The first method requires you to log into your MySpectrum account where you can then see your registered devices. Scroll down to your registered transmitter in which you want to update. Select Download Updates and here you will see the most recent update listed underneath some software update instructions. Click on the download button underneath the most recent Raceware version. This will download the Raceware update file to your computer. It's important that you do not change the name or type of this file. You can now open the Spectrum Programmer app on your computer. We will return to this app after a couple of steps. On the back of the DX6C, remove the plastic cover in order to access the USB-C port. With the DX6C powered off, plug the USB-C cable into the port on the transmitter and then connect the other side of the cable to your computer. The transmitter screen will turn on displaying the Spectrum logo and an empty progress bar. On the Spectrum Programmer app, you will now see a screen that displays the transmitter serial number, software version, and two buttons. Here you will want to select the button that says Choose File and choose the spmtx.sax file you previously downloaded for the transmitter. Once you open the file, the Programmer app will begin to update the transmitter. There will be a short delay while the transmitter is preparing to copy the new firmware and then the progress bar on both the Programmer app and the transmitter will start moving. Once the update is complete, the Programmer app will show that the device has successfully updated and the transmitter will remain powered on. Once you click OK, the transmitter will reboot. You can now unplug the USB-C cable from the DX6C, power it off, and reinstall the plastic cover. You have now successfully updated the DX6C. Now let's update the DX6 Rugged using the second method. The first step is to open the Spectrum Programmer app and be sure to log into your My Spectrum account through the app if you haven't already. Next, remove the plastic covering on the DX6 Rugged to access the USB-C port. With the DX6 Rugged powered off, plug the USB-C cable into the port on the transmitter and then connect the other side of the cable to your computer. The transmitter screen will turn on, displaying the Spectrum logo in an empty progress bar. The Spectrum programmer will switch to a screen that displays the transmitter serial number, software version, and two buttons. Here you will want to click on the button that says Install Another Version. Select the update version you want to install and click on the Update button. After pressing the update button, the programmer app will begin to update the transmitter. There will be a short delay while the transmitter is preparing to copy the new firmware and then the progress bar on both the programmer app and the transmitter should start moving. Once the update process is finished, the programmer app will display a pop-up stating that the update is complete. Once you click OK, the transmitter will reboot. 
At this time, you may close the Programmer app and disconnect the USB-C cable. You can now power off the DX6 Rugged and reinstall the plastic cover. You have now successfully updated the DX6 Rugged. Alright everyone, and as you can see, the update process is very easy for both methods on the DX6C and the DX6 Rugged. Now both of these transmitters are now updated to the latest firmware, and both of these transmitters are capable of binding to an SLT receiver. So here comes the fun part. Let's go ahead and bind up the DX6C up to the Arma Granite Grom vehicle right here. All right, so here we have the DX6C that we just updated, and we also have the Arma Granite Grom with the body off, so then we can get access to the battery and the SLT receiver. So with that being said, the first thing that we can do is power on our transmitter right here. And as you can see, this is a new mod. I have not configured anything just yet. So really the first thing that we can do right now is just select the scroll wheel to go to the menu or access the menu depending on what transmitter you have and go down to model name. So here in the model name, we can just rename this to Grom. Now that you've successfully named your model, you can select back, taking you back to the menu and scroll down to bind slash frame. Go ahead and select this. And here you can see that you can scroll down within this menu and highlight the frame rate option. Now here we have 11 milliseconds. If you scroll up, you will see 22 milliseconds on the DX6C. And now that it is updated, if you scroll up one more time, you will see the SLT frame rate. This is what you want in order to bind the DX6C to the Spectrum SLT receiver that is on the Arma Granite Grom. Once you have confirmed that the frame rate is now set to SLT, you can just go ahead and scroll down to bind, but don't press anything just yet because we are now going to put the SLT receiver on the Arma Granite Grom into bind mode. And in order to do that, we are going to plug in the battery here, and then where the on off button is, we are going to press this button and hold it down for about three seconds until you see this red light start to flash rapidly. Once you have confirmed that the Arma Granite Grom is in buy mode with the flashing red light, you can now go back over here to your DX6C and select bind. And as you heard that beep, your DX6C is now bound up to the Arma Granite Grom. And as you can see here, we have our steering going the correct direction. So left is left, right is right and then we can test the throttle as well. And as you can see, everything is moving as it should. So you can now drive your Arma Granite Grom or any of your vehicles that have an SLT receiver with a current Spectrum computer transmitter. And that sums up how easy it is to bind your newly updated Spectrum computer transmitter to an SLT receiver like the one that is on this Arma Granite Grom. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this new revolutionary update on all kinds of vehicles with your Spectrum computer transmitter. We'll see you on the next one.